run the counter like you did a bit against New York Red Bulls? It is, yeah. We know that we're coming into a difficult venue. They're a very good team. They've got some talented players. Um, we know it's going to be a difficult game, but not impossible. You know, we'll, we'll set ourselves up. We're, we're tactically disciplined on the defensive side, but you know, there are areas that we think we can exploit. Score as well as visitor is your main target? Is what, sorry? Uh, score, score a goal. goal. Yeah, it would be nice. Obviously, in a two-legged tie, the, to try and get an away goal is important. We've done that in the previous leg. Uh, we will try and do that, but it's also important we don't leave ourselves open to allow a, a goal or two to come in on the other end. So that will be a focus. If we can get one, great. If we can't, don't give nothing away. Which is the, the key to, to defeat the Tigres? I think patience. I think we've got to have patience. Uh, we know that they'll have more of the ball on us. Um, we know they like to play open, expansive football because they've got top, top players. Um, but also that can be a weakness for this. So we'll, we'll use that to our advantage. We'll be organised. We'll be disciplined. It's a, it's a game of a lifetime for some of the players in there. Um, but I've told them to go and enjoy it. Uh, but they will have roles and responsibilities. And if they can do that, then I believe our strengths will play into their weaknesses. What can you tell about the Guignac? Top player, top goal scorer. Top person, no doubt. So uh, we've got to be very much on our game. My two centre backs have got to be switched on all the time, and we've got to try and keep them out the box, or maybe 20 yards outside the box, <laughs> as we know. Do you feel it's a disadvantage of nine games in the local tournament? Yes, I do, um, but I can't do nothing about it. Obviously, I get asked that question quite a little, quite a bit from the American media, North American media, about you know, why, do we not, or why are we not able to compete with the, the top Mexican teams. Uh, and that's part of the reason. The Mexican boys are fit, the teams are fit. Uh, but we won't use that as an excuse. It is what it is. We're playing against a top team, um, but we're not a bad team either. And Alfonso Davies, obviously. Uh, sin duda, un equipo con, con muchos jugadores, con mucha clase. Y bueno, esperamos un equipo que, que va a ganar uh, desde el primer momento y obviamente vamos a aprovechar los espacios que ellos vayan a dejar mientras se vayan al ataque. ¿Cuál es el gol de visitante como su principal objetivo? Seguramente, sí, es, es nuestro objetivo sacar un buen resultado que nos deje la esperanza de volver a nuestra casa y terminar el trabajo. ¿De alguna manera Freddy les eh, está consolidado en esta temporada? Sí, de ventaja o no, es lo que tenemos. Uh, nosotros llevamos dos partidos de, en el torneo, así que uh, nuestra mentalidad va a ser este partido. Sabemos que son 90 minutos uh, mañana y después otros 90 en nuestra casa, así que eso va a ser lo más importante. ¿Qué es lo más peligroso que ustedes conocen de Tigres? Que es un equipo muy ofensivo. Obviamente, con la calidad de jugadores que tienen, siempre van a tener opciones de gol. Pero al mismo tiempo, uh, te dejan tener la pelota. ¿no? Sabemos que uh, nosotros tenemos jugadores rápidos por las bandas, donde podemos hacerle daño a ellos. Jugadores jóvenes con muchas ganas de triunfar y bueno, nosotros sabemos que no hay nada que perder, por lo contrario, tenemos muchísimo que ganar y demostrar a, a toda la gente de la MLS y a todos, bueno, en Centroamérica y Norteamérica. Justamente en ese sentido, ¿qué le significa?